The Australian Embassy's annual film festival, which is called the Australia Indonesia Cinema Festival, or FSAI, returns here to Indonesia. The 2023 Australia Indonesia Cinema Festival will be held from February 24th to March 18th. The festival will feature seven films and seven masterclass sessions in seven cities. So the seven cities include Jakarta, Surabaya, Makassar, Mataram, Yogyakarta, Bandung, and South Tangerang. The festival itself provides opportunities for movie lovers here in Indonesia to watch the best Australian and Indonesian films. So obviously you and I are all curious to find out more about this festival. So we have joining us one of the cinephiles that have participated in the festival itself. Steve Rogers, the co-writer co of Sweet Ass, which is one of the movies that will be screened at the festival. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank Thanks you for so coming much. on the studio today. Thanks. So you're in the midst of this, uh, you're in the midst of this uh, particular festival right now. But congratulations on your movie, Sweet As, being Thank featured. You. Can you tell us a little bit about the movie to start off? Yeah, it's uh, the centre of the film is a character, Mara, okay. who's a First Nations woman from Western Australia, the Pilbara District, mm -hmm. up in the far northwest. Uh, and her mother abandons her um, at the beginning of the film for complex reasons. Mm -hmm. And the film is really about how a coming-of-age road movie, in a way, okay. Um, how she overcomes that difficult beginning mm. um, as a young teenager. Um, and she's identified as an at-risk child that she could get in trouble with the law. And her uncle, who's a policeman, recognises an opportunity where they put her on a bus with a bunch of other kids who are at risk and they travel around the Pilbara okay. taking photos of um, the landscape. Mm. And through that process, she rediscovers herself mm. um, and in some ways rediscovers her country, ah. which for those people who know Aboriginal and First Nations culture, mm -hmm. um, it, the connection to land is paramount. Mm -hmm. And so she's a little bit lost, and by going on that journey, she rediscovers herself through the beauty of landscape. Oh, really nice. Yeah, so visually it's a stunning. Sounds beautiful, yeah. yeah. Sounds beautiful. But before we go any further, could yeah. you please um, tell us more about um, how your movie got selected into the festival? Could you? guide us through the process that you went through? Sure. Well, it's the film has only played at festivals at the moment, so it opened at the Melbourne International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. um, there it was picked up by a distributor, um, yeah. and then it played at Toronto Film Festival, where Jab, who I co-wrote the film with, and she directs the film, and the story is loosely based on some of her life. Uh, it won awards there. Uh, it's now playing at the Berlin International Film Festival oh, nice. at the moment. So it's had a lot of recognition and I think with, for the Festival of Cinema Indonesia Australia, um, they recognise that the film has broad appeal mm -hmm. so that a lot of people, um, it's, it's palatable to a wide section of audience, mm. particularly families yes. um, and teens, so it's not problematic for young people to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, it's really a beautiful film. Right. So a lot of people can relate to that movie. Yeah. What but... message are you trying to deliver to the audience? I think the main message is that no matter how difficult your circumstances, um, through art and through photography and through relationships with people who want to help you learn, you can overcome great obstacles. Mm. Um, it really is also a celebrate. Like, the beauty of Indonesia and its landscapes, you know, it's such a large country. Well, Australia has that same diversity right. of landscape mm -hmm. and, you know, one place is different from the next. Mm -hmm. um, but it's breathtaking in its scenery. And through that um, connection to landscape, we really want people to rediscover the beauty of the environment in a way. Right. Through film, through camera. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you've mentioned as well how there are similarities with Indonesia and Australia. In fact, there are a lot of close relationships. So how have how has your film been received so far? Obviously, you've screened it already. In fact, here in Jakarta, you were mentioning. What was the reception like? What was the feedback like? Um, it was really moving, to be honest. To, you always think that internationally, your film might be too parochial or okay. too, yeah. too centred where it's set. Mm -hmm. But what's beautiful is the universal traits that um, we hold dear seem to be holding dear here. Character-driven stories are more or less about the relationships we have with our parents with a boyfriend or girlfriend, mm -hmm. um, with friends, mm. with uncles, with aunts. And um, 
family like it is in Australia, like it is here, is dear to all of us. So mm. that universality of story um, transcends Borders. Borders. Yeah. And, and yeah. what I found really great about the masterclass with the Jakarta uh, film students today was just how much we had in common in terms of storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and the potential here, just the, some of the ideas, um, they went from, you know, war stories mm -hmm. about independence here in 44 mm -hmm. um, to love stories, which are my favourite. I love a romance. <laughs> um, but it seems that. Um, we were all talking about universal traits that all human beings share. Yeah, and I, I think it's a very interesting perspective you bring up because I've spoken to um, young movie enthusiasts or video game creators, all Indonesians that always say the same, like, I wonder how this will be translated outside of our own country if it's, if it's set here in our country or the background is here or the story is about Indonesians. Sometimes they always have the same thought as well. I wonder if this is going to be understood or it's well, going to be well received. Well, we were talking before we came on here. One of my favourite films here is, um, look, I don't know the Indonesian mm -hmm. um, uh, pronunciation Title, of the right? film, but Rainbow Warriors. About a, Pelangi. Yeah, yes. um, that I saw story. in about 2009. And that story is a story for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we all want for those kids, those right, students, we right. want for them. Mm. And um, we want them to have you know, great lives. And I feel like at the centre of Sweet As and a lot of stories, it's the same want. Mm -hmm. It's the same, we all aspire for people to have opportunity. Indeed. Um, and the students that I met today from Jakarta, um, I feel like they're the next generation. They're going to make stuff because they just so much more equipped mm. already with film language. Right. Um, so what's going to happen in somewhere like Indonesia in the next 10 to 20 years is the facility for everybody to make mm. film and story in their own environments, mm -hmm. it's going to be stunning. Yeah, let's hope so. Amen. Yeah. You just mentioned that uh, you got the opportunity to meet with uh, Indonesian filmmakers uh, on the master classes, yeah. right? Yeah. And is, will there be any potential collaboration? In the well, future. Yeah, um, it was uh, the moderator, uh, Marissa Anita. Mm. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know if you know her. Oh, yeah, she's oh, our colleague. Uh, she's, she she does the morning too. show with us. She does the morning <laughs> show. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. There you go. <laughs> my, my ignorance. One of our well, she, she moderated the, um, right. the, the Q&A with the students, and she Perfect. was wonderful. Yeah. But um, <laughs> all of us, by the end, were talking about, well, what possible stories could we be creating together um, because of those universal connections, mm -hmm. you know? And... Um, it was such an exciting conversation because we were all finding common ground about mm. storytelling. Right. Um, and what, the perfect thing about this festival is it brings people together and you suddenly realise the commonality yeah. of, um, of storytelling. And so it's a real credit to the Australian Embassy and the Indonesian Embassy and the festival itself um, to bring people from seemingly different parts of the world. Yes together to celebrate cinema. It's okay. such a wonderful opportunity. I'm right. so excited to be here. Yeah, and obviously this stuff like this hadn't been going on for the last couple of years because of the pandemic and now that we're allowed to travel again between yeah. countries and have gatherings like these festivals, it's all that much uh, more important to kind of shine the spotlight on a lot of this work. Now you yourself have done not only you've done small screen work, large screen work, in fact you started out as an actor. Can you tell me a little bit about the process behind Steve Rogers, yourself, how you became a filmmaker and how much of what you did in the past contributed to what your work, your body of work today? Yeah, I think the immediacy of acting was just the first instinct to, oh that's fun. Okay. Um, I could make people laugh. <laughs> um, and so that, that was the beginning instinct and then as you I, you know, you go through acting school and then you... I spent most of my life at the Sydney Theatre Company, um, Belvoir Street, and theatres in Sydney. Okay. And, and Bell Shakespeare and all around Australia performing. If, so I was a jobbing theatre actor. If you spend enough time in rooms on scripts, sooner or later it's like you're a student yourself. Okay. And all you're doing is looking at story and how stories work. And I realised as I got older that that was my first love. <laughs> was actually not performing in the end, it was in the rehearsal room working out how the character and the story worked. Okay. So it was a natural progression then to move towards my own writing and trying to sort out, when I became a father, I wrote about that. The, mm -hmm. the, the kind of, you know, the, the, the conflict between being an artist where you might not be earning the money you probably should be, mm. a theatre actor, and now you've got mouths to feed. To feed yeah, exactly. Um, and so that led to my first play, Raised Tempest, which was about a man 
not wanting to take responsibility in a way and running away from that okay. and realising he had to take responsibility for the people he loved. Right. So in some ways, but I also think the first instinct of an actor is a storyteller. So the process of acting is trying to find truth in an imaginary circumstance. Yep. A writer is the same. Right, true. Um, even if it's an outlandish, um, supernatural, mm -hmm. Captain America, Steve Rogers. <laughs> um, you're still trying to find what's truthful for the character in that circumstance, in that story. Right. And so that instinct of a storyteller is very similar to the, that of an actor, almost mm. the same. Yeah, good point, actually. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what, what's next? You're, you're leaving Jakarta tomorrow. Yep. The festival continues in... Uh, Across the seven cities that you mentioned. Right. So... But I'm only going to Makassar. Okay. And Mataram. Mataram? Mataram. Yep. Mataram um, yeah. in Lombok. Um, so I only get that, and then I'm planning to run away and <laughs> see, on, <laughs> see the sights. See, 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 see Gili Ayer. Good idea. Gili, Gili Ayer, Ayer, yes. G yeah, good Gili Ayer. Okay. Um, so my, my wife and partner, I said, can I just have two or three nights <laughs> where I can just sit on the beach and have, have a swim week. and read a book? And, um, <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah, yeah. So what's, uh, what, can we, what, can you, what are you expecting, rather, from the next uh, two cities that you visit from the upcoming festival, including the, uh, the master class? Well, I'm hoping it's more of the same um, that I've... The masterclass was just so wonderful today um, with Marissa. Do let her know tomorrow yes. how, how oh, wonderful you. she was. She was really great. Um, but I'm just hoping more of the same, that we just get to keep talking about and celebrating stories. Um, so, yeah, can't wait. So we're hoping to see you collaborating with Indonesian filmmakers in the future? Yeah. Well, I'm crossing fingers for that. The conversations at the end of today were a lot of, um, here's my email. Yep. It, was, it wasn't social media stuff as much as, <laughs> there's a lot of group photos, which I was enjoying. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but at the end, it was swapping emails so that we can talk about further stories. Wow. Um, in fact, Marissa was saying that she's working on a script and that the session actually helped her unpack some of the blocks that we had to writing stories. So that it started to open up for her. Yeah. Well, you know, wouldn't it be wonderful if that, that communication was ongoing? Absolutely. And then suddenly people like us started going, okay, well, what story could we make together? Yep. Definitely. Um, and that's know. how it all begins, yeah. right? That's it. It's the same thing that happened for me and Jub writing Sweet As. That right. She was an Indigenous woman in Western Australia. I was a boy from Tasmania, and somehow we met, and the conversation was about, you tell me your stories, I'll tell you mine. Right. And from that, we made a film. Right. So uh, is it getting a th theatrical release once it makes all of its rounds through yeah. all the festivals? Yeah, the festival, so I think in April in Australia, it comes out in cinemas, commercial okay. cinemas, mm -hmm. and we're just crossing it, because it's really made for um, young people. Okay. So, you know, mums and dads bring along their 12 or 13 year old. Perfect. Coming of age stories are great. They're I mean, I think it's great to watch with your kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we're definitely going to be looking out for it from our streaming services here. But, right. Steve, congratulations once again. Thank you so and much. And thank you for coming. And, guys, do McCassie, check out Sweet As whenever you can. And you see it at either a streaming service or a theater near you.